Hello, and welcome back to Just Another Pay Promotion, where we give an honest and humorous review of popular sponsorships on the platform. Today we're going to be looking at the metal poster brand, Displates. These videos are usually fan funded and are not sponsored at all, so please do consider liking and subscribing. Anyway, Displates is a metal poster brand that was started in 2013. Instead of making posters out of traditional materials like paper or canvas, they press their posters onto metal sheets that can magnetically connect to your walls. They've been a constant sponsor for a few years now, especially in the gaming side of the platform, which makes them a perfect contender for today's video. Now I've had many posters throughout my life, and I will say they can be quite a hassle to set up. Coming from experience, finding a high quality poster out of the flood of cheap prints out there can definitely be a challenge not to mention the pain of finding a decent and affordable frame. For example, where I'm editing this video right now, I have this Bob Dylan poster that is just being held up by tape, so I could definitely see the appeal of displates. They have millions of poster designs, from officially licensed ones like Marvel, DC, Star Wars, to even straight hell, as well as an endless amount of creator-made posters. And because of this large amount, it made it really hard to decide what posters I should review, so I decided to let my community pick out what posters I should get, including my lovely supporters over on Patreon and Ko-fi. Thanks guys. So let's see what my lovely audience picked for me. So Displates comes in three different poster sizes, including a medium, a large, as well as an extra large option composing of four medium sized posters. The print quality is actually really good. I did notice a little bit of noise in the larger posters, but I do think that has to do more with the quality of the source image rather than the printing itself. But I was expecting the steel plates to be a little stronger. It's quite easy to bend, which could lead to some easily made dents. And this extra large size is really underwhelming. You can see the gaps between each poster, which takes away from the artwork. And for certain posters, it kind of ruins them especially ones with text. Now setting up this place is a very simple process. You just wipe down your wall with the included wipes, add a protective leaf, add the magnet, and bam, you're good to go. The process is overall pretty simple, and it is cool to be able to easily switch out posters, but when doing research for this video, apparently these magnets come off really easily. Personally, it hasn't happened to me just yet, but just looking at these magnets, I could see how the side that sticks to the leaf could fade or dry away, but because it's just normal stick abrasive, you could possibly put this to any flat surface you want. Displays also allows options to be added to your poster, including frames and gloss finishes. The gloss finish is actually pretty good. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but at certain angles it leaves a nice touch on the poster, which is the exact opposite I could say about the frame. This frame is garbage. I thought they were going to put a real frame over a display, but it's just a fake wooden texture which crops off the sides of the artwork, leading to certain parts being covered up. Definitely not worth the extra price tag. Also, when I was writing the script for this video, Displates released a new poster line called Textra. Basically, it gives texture to certain parts of the poster. I would have gotten one if I didn't waste all my money on a $165 gaming poster that was made in Photoshop, which leads to two issues I have with Displates. The first would have to be the price. For the size of these posters, they're way too overpriced. For how much a large is, you could probably find a high quality paper version and get yourself a real frame. Yeah, the installation could be longer and even be a little more tedious, but you could be saving a lot more on a poster that could even be bigger than a display. I think displays themselves know how overpriced their products are because of the never ending amount of discount sales on their website. When doing research for this video, there was always some sort of seasonal discount going on, giving the impression that it was a limited time deal, even though some of these deals were only a few days apart. And with a large amount of coupon and sponsor codes out there, really questions the legitimacy of the normal price tag. The second issue I have with this place is that, OH MY GOD THERE'S SO MUCH JUNK ON THIS WEBSITE! For every good poster design, there's about a hundred or so AI generated or inspirational quote posters that overflows the entire website. A lot of the posters consist of stolen artwork that has some sort of photoshop effect on them, or even just a generic poster you can find on any other website. There are officially licensed posters that are of a much higher quality, most of the time, but they only make a small percentage of the whole website, and if you really want to find a high quality original poster, 
you have to go through a lot of posters like these. They also offer Displayed Club, their monthly subscription service that gives you extra bonuses like free shipping, exclusive sleeves, early access to limited edition posters, which for some reason isn't just a normal subscription service, but rather calculated by your first shipping order. So the price can be dramatically different. But the main selling point in my opinion of Displayed Club is the ability to upload and create your own display. And this should just be a normal feature for any user to have. The ability to upload and create your own custom poster is a really cool feature that would be a better selling point for disc plates. Even if it was behind an extra fee, it's still better having it behind a lackluster subscription service. They also have these monthly special variant posters with their limited edition plates and their Luminos lineup. Some of the designs for the normal limited edition posters are great, but I wouldn't say they're really worth that extra price tag. But the Lumino posters were kind of interesting. They have an OLED panel behind the artwork that brightens up certain pieces of the poster. It looked really intriguing, and I was planning to pick up one. And then I realized it's just a medium sized poster that lights up sometimes, and it costs $300. No. So, yeah, I'm a little conflicted on displays. The posters themselves are really solid, and there are some legitimately great designs out there but the site is just too overrun with junk. I think if they were just less lenient on their constant sales tactics and just lower the price point of their posters, I think displays would be one of the better sponsored products out there. I would say the posters themselves would probably be in high B tier, but the mix of overpricing and the use of fear of missing out practices, as well as the lack of quality control on their website, really does bring down displays. High C tier. I guess I just own these now. Welp, 